How are the smelt looking out there in the big pond? Oh, they're ready. Oh, they're ready for us? Boys, there's a lot of them. Woo, Tommy! Come on! Oh, boys, nice job! Holy smelt! Look at them all! <laughs> Woo! Look at that! Nice. nice! It's incredible! Nice Whoa. job! Wow! I got one right by your foot! <laughs> Woo! Look at that! Holy moly! Sweet! That is smelt heaven there! That ain't bad for a second, third pull. <laughs> wow! Look at them all! We got mostly. What's the tradition? Tommy? What's the tradition, boys? When you first, you have to bite the head off the smelt. Oh, that's it? Just the head? <laughs> oh, even though I wasn't out on that first bowl? You're it. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hey, you know what's happening, guys? I'm not going to waste a good smelt. <laughs> So Tommy, why are these smelt in here? They're coming in to spawn. So the temperature finally went up, it's getting to that 38, 39 degrees. They say like 38 to 40. Okay. Well, They've tell been me. getting pretty much just males lately in the last couple days. Now that we're already noticing today that we're getting a lot of females mixed in, so that's good. Typically, how long does a, a smelt run like this last? It can vary. You know, some days it's lasting a couple days, some days it'll last a week, week and a half. Depends we're on the weather, huh? Day three of good nights. Okay. But all the other, like last night and the night before, they were getting them late. Midnight, one o'clock in the morning. We're only at what, nine? Yeah, it's early. early yet. So we're early. So it, it should be a good, it should just get better and better. You know, we're up here on Lake Superior and Ashland doing this. And when I was a kid, I used to go with my dad all the time and we went around on Lake Michigan, you know, did the Manitowoc, Two River stuff. What You just don't see good smelting in them areas. Not saying that it won't come back someday, but uh, it seems like Lake Superior has a good population of yep. smelt. I do have a couple buddies in Michigan that are doing fairly well already okay. this year. I did see, so it was nice to see. So but what's the key to this operation here? We're doing the seine net. So you can see we got a 30 foot seine. We're going out sitting still for a little while, letting them smelt filter back in, and then we're just pulling it up to shore. It's a little tough. We got some waves here we're dealing with from this afternoon. So the waves are trying to pull the bottom of that net back out. Right. So we got a couple guys just grabbing the bottom of the net so we don't lose everything right at the beach. And we're walking out to about, what, four and a half feet of water? Yep, we're not very tall, so we right. can't go too far. Right, <laughs> well, speak for yourself. <laughs> but we should have Hunter. If we could find somebody else we like should. Hunter, we get out to Hunter about and seven, Michael. seven get, foot, get right? out there, yeah. Yeah, a little sure. bit deeper. All right, well, well, cool. We'll give it a few minutes and we'll go back out and try another one. Well, excellent. We'll keep it this tight. Good, good, good. Pull it up, pull it up. Pull, pull it up. Oops. A little Woo. better. Nice. Oh, oh watch it. Pull it up. The waves will take it. Woo! That's a good there pull. Too. There's still good pulls, and we can keep that up. Little rocks for the cooler. Smell. Okay, Hunter. What do you got there? I bit the head off on two of them so far, and ate it. You're Hunter's eat first the... pull. Tradition. Yep. The whole thing. Well, the whole you're not one. doing the head, you're doing the whole thing. The whole one. No. <laughs> All right. You're going to slurp it without, without chewing it? <laughs> no. Oh. Nice. They're not bad. No, right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Smelts are good. Oh. Yep. He's down there bouncing off the sidewalls right now. Yeah. Let's get some more. 
This wave noise is helping us though. You know, a dead calm night, I think they can hear that. A little more. spookier. Today they aren't picking up on it. I can already see them. You can? They're jumping over by you. Well, don't jump my way. Oh, they're in there. They're in get there, them, you get guys. Them, get them, pull tight. Pull tight. Woo! Nice. That is a, whoa, whoa. Get them, yeah. Tommy and Michael are out there doing a pull right now. Let's see how many they get. Uh, we, we're on about our fifth pull, and we probably have about maybe a quarter of a cooler full, so one of these big 106s or 102 coolers. So that's uh, definitely a great night. Nice and warm out tonight, and uh, the winds are starting to die down. You can already see them hunting and boiling in front of this net. It's gonna be a big pull. We're good, we're good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa, nice. look at that pull. Jeez. Oh. Look at the size of that one. Let me see that. Holy cats. That look at is that. Th that's definitely a mega schmelt. Oh, they got that dialed. Oh, oh look at them. Oh, oh, oh. See that out there? Oh, go right in the middle right that. there. Got it, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, that's crazy. Larry, we gotta go get a different net. Right, that is crazy. Wow, that is a pole. Look at that, look at all them smell. It's the little things in life. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna move down a little bit where these other guys were pulling, they let us use their net, which is very, very cool, and uh, give that a shot. I mean, we're doing good, but they were doing excellent. Oh. I can't go no more, Jay, your foot. Nice. Oh, what a difference. <laughs> Holy man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to rip it. One more. Wow. Holy camoly. Look at that. Look at that. Think how much more sleep I'm yeah. going to get tonight. Right. <laughs> One we more scoop and you'll have that too. whole cooler full. <laughs> wow. Right, that is overrated. I love to hear that. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> Let's see if she can take one more pull. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. You know, the cool part about coming out here and doing the smelting is that, you know, Wisconsin's such a big fish fry state, the Friday night fish fries. You know, smelt is, is a big thing, especially this time of year. You know, guys come out and do this commercially and then sell them to the restaurants. But it's nice to come out once in a while and do something on your own and to be able to go home and clean these fish up and, and have them fresh. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna give a bunch of them away to people. And uh, you know what, you just kind of spread everything out and uh, everybody gets to enjoy it. So, hey, you know what, let's make a couple more pulls, fill one more cooler up, go get some ice and uh, check out what, see what Tommy's got in his refrigerator for us to eat. for probably about 20 minutes. Finally got to the right water. Why don't you slow us down a little bit, Larry? Some weight to it. Really? You know, Tommy, we got a little bit of a problem. What's that? Um, <laughs> no net in the boat. You know what? 
we don't have a net sponsor, so we don't carry a net a lot of times. So, but uh, I guess I didn't think about it today that we're fishing coho and probably a net wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And yeah, in the waves, a net wouldn't be a bad deal. Just watch that deadhead too, but you're doing yep. good now. Those first ones on the black and silver, no, black and gold, Psycho Minnow. Psycho Minnow, I love that. Keep me slow, Larry, I'm kind of wrapped up on him a little bit. Watch out for the, this, watch out for that. Keep her slow, we're drifting right I'm at that deadhead, right buddy. This is a nice coho. That is your Lake Superior candy. Coho salmon. Loving it. On the black and gold psycho minnow. I love these. That's something unique about these, Larry. You don't see a lot is the chartreuse bellies on some of these. Okay. I love it. You figure that triggers the strike, huh? And we'll show you this bait later compared to a smelt. It's just unbelievable. It replicates that smelt just perfectly, that profile. They've been on fire. Live well's right by you, Tommy. You want to keep them? Oh, you bet your, <laughs> you know what? Here you go, here you go. All right, Michael. Michael's, Michael's uh, slow way down. This is light down tackle here. There's not. Got one on the spinning rod. Wow, that was cool. What's on that for a bait, Tommy? We got that same one, another black and gold uh, cycle minnow. Okay. Yep. Still and that was just on. flat lining right behind the boat. Yep. No board. That's a fun Lobo, way to do it. Right in the prop wash. Some days these cohos, you know, just like in a river, they like following right behind the boat. Some days we can be 10, 15 feet behind the boat. And it doesn't spook them, No, huh? they're following that prop wash. Yep. Okay, They like playing in that current. I'm gonna tail grab them. You're gonna tail grab them? Yep. Holy man, that's a beaut. Watch that hook, Tommy, so yep. it doesn't get you. Good. This is a team effort here, folks. This is what the challenge is all about. Anybody can have a net. Anyone can get this fish with a net. Yeah, anybody, right? Or I, okay. Woo. Oh. Easy, 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 easy. Slow down, Larry. <laughs> Look, we got Tommy Hicks Hank. at that fish. Huh, buddy? <laughs> the Osprey. Six pound oh, test on the spinning rod on that black oh, and man, gold cycle minnow again. Gotta love that. What a beautiful, beautiful awesome. fish. Awesome. awesome fish. So, this is the T bone. This is the cycle minnow. Now, it's our second fish, and they're both on this black and gold. We got a little murkier water today, which I love black and gold. The clear water days, we really, the, the swamp water's been the best color on us in clear water, but today it'll be orange and gold, black and gold. That is just a beautiful fish. We're gonna let this fish go. We really promote letting these big browns go. No we let them go all winter. Good stuff. Nice that job, buddy. Awesome. That's why we come out here in the weather. That is. How much better does it get? Smelt, brown trout, coho? Not much better. Game Not on. much better. <laughs> Keep it moving. Larry, come on back. No, I'm going to drive, you guys. No, I'm good. You guys catch them. Slow me down. Let's got some weight. Okay. Now we're starting to get a little pattern going. We were just going to change a few baits, but now the swamp water is hooked up. We got to a little clearer water, and that's all it took for that swamp water to take off. A little swamp water, hey? Another something decent. I would say it's a brown. Yeah, this is the way it's fighting. Yeah. It's gonna come up. I'm gonna flip it right in. Still hasn't come up, Spike, huh? spike, spike, ain't it? What do you got there, Tommy? You wanna try to grab him? Watch the hook. Brown? Yep. There's a spoil. Nice split. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> Get that in the boat. Don't lose that one. You want to flip them in? We got. Oh. Flip them in, Tommy. Uh, this. I'll get them. I'll flip them. I think you should. Tommy, yep. do the hick split. You got them or you want me to get them? Got them. One, two, three. Nice job. That front hook just popped out of his yap. 
Woo. On the swamp water. Wow, he oh, absolutely massacred. That is a good eating fish. So that's that cross between the lake trout and the brook trout. Okay. These are the planted fish. Best table fare there is. I can't believe that fish had both hooks in them. Loving that. You know, that happens a lot. You'll have that, they go to the head of the minnow, you'll get that front hook in the mouth, yep. and then that falls off, and then you're pulling the side of that head in. Nice. Splake. Awesome splake, yeah. So a coho, a brown, and a splake. Yep. One of them so far. Can't think of a better place I'd rather be than out here in Lake Superior in the Warrior 2121 with a bunch of good people. And everyone told us to stay home today. Yeah, we don't stay home. Too windy. It's beautiful out here. It is. Mm. Oh. Tommy, this is a true treat for you. Oh. The Philly cheesesteak. Mm. Oh, the Philly cheese. Oh. Mm. Good hard club. You got to make sure you check them out. Leroy Meats in Fox Lake and Horicon. Mm. What? Mm. A little snack. You know what? I think it's time to change some baits. We've gone about a half hour without a bite. So let's show a couple of these profiles. Yeah. So we got, we've been using the cycle minute, as you see on these last, the three last previous fish. This is the Shad series. Which is pretty cool. Deeper diver. Oh, sharp hooks too. Then this is the black and gold, but this is in the minnow series. Different profile. Design, yep. yep. And then you got uh, my favorite clear water, one of my favorite clear water colors, the speckled minnow, but this is in the cycle minnow. Hey Tommy, you know another fish on the flat line, and I would say 80% of the fish we've been catching have been coming off these two flat lines, and we've got six other planer boards out there. Why is that? Just certain days they follow that boat, and it's not every day, but okay. when they're doing it, it's this is one of my dad's favorite things. When and they get behind this prop wash. You know, all the times that I've fished nice up coho. here, nice little coho. All the times I've fished up here with you, Tommy, I have never seen the water myself this dirty. It is. We are on a very, very limited spot today. Um, as we're sitting here, it's getting muddier. But with this wind, we're, we knew that this was the only shot we had. I've been limiting out on cohos here every day, but I think some of them moved into this warmer water. Okay, in makes the sense. Mud, and it's just a little harder to locate. We can't get off this shoreline much just because it's so rough. Oh yeah, I mean, there's gonna be eight footers out there. Yeah, for there's sure. gonna be some big waves on the way home. So I think we're gonna try to get a couple more quick ones here. We got plenty to eat. Yep. Oh, I want Caught some really nice fish today. Right, we did, this is And we fun. gotta get in and clean a few smelt. We got a pile of smelt. <laughs> go. We're gonna go in, into your garage and clean smelt and cook yep. some up. That was the color today. Black and gold, psycho minnow. Can I put it back out? You can. Okay. You know there's something, when you have a successful day fishing, you are gonna get a lot of blood and slime all over your boat. And I'll tell you, I can't think of a better way to clean everything up than the tub of towels. So it was a mess. It won't be a mess very long, my friend. It's a good sign. That means we had a good day. Yes, it is. By the time you hit the dock, I'll have this boat all clean, spick and span. I'll take over. I'll take over for you. Right? What are you drinking? What are you I like to have a little Chardonnay for a great day on the water. <laughs> hey, Tommy, why don't you show us the proper way to clean a smelt? Well, a simple trick my buddy Scott Brenning from River Rock Inn and Bait Shop told me. Well, you can't. If it comes to expertise, he would definitely know. He would know. definitely know. Handles a lot of fish. So you, to save you from having to scoop all them guts out of there, just snip about three quarters of the way up from the head to the fin. Okay. And then go in the anal hole and go right up the stomach. Just snip it and like cut that it, then, huh? cut it just a little bit short. Okay. And then when you pull this head off, kind of put your finger in there. And that whole like works that. comes out in one scoop. Wow, that Look at is that. definitely. Everything's out of there. Throw some breading on her, and are they delicious? Cool. Hey, you know what? We're talking about things before. When people like to come up here to Ashland, that's another great place to stop in at his shop there. And he's got a motel, hotel. Correct. Right there. Stop in the neighborly bar right across the road. Have a couple beers before you head down Smelton. And what a great town to do it in. I can't like Born and raised here, and it's just a great, great thing for the community. Gets a lot of people around. Multiple things to do on top of great smelting and some great fishing.
What temperature do you like that grease to be at? You gotta keep it under 350. 350? Burn. Burn. Okay. From 300. All right, there goes the old Kragers. Oh yeah. Huh? How's the smells? Oh, they are. I haven't had one of these since I was eight years old. That's the first smell I've had probably since I've been about 15. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. There's nothing wrong with eating smell. Where does the spine and everything go? Uh -oh. Down your stomach. Huh? Gone. Hey, everybody. What an incredible, again, trip with you, Tommy. You know what? Unbelievable smelting. When you start talking about smelting, and it was one of the best times that you've ever had as that, far as a number was, of smelt yeah. that we, and you know, that is the big thing when it comes to doing that, timing is everything. And we definitely want to thank everybody here at the Green Monster yeah, for cooking for us sure. up the smelt and the hospitality was unbelievable, like always. And that's what it's all about, yeah. building memories, making friends all around the country, and that's what we love. You know, I can't tell you guys enough for watching our show and uh, we really appreciate everything that people do for us, and it's just incredible. You know what, that's what keeps us going, driving all night, all day, and filming these shows. You know, that's what it's all about 100%. Right there. It's about, about the people. It's about the people. You know what, Tommy, if somebody wants to get a hold of you and obviously do some fishing, yep. tell them how they can do it. No, you can get a hold of us on uh, beyondthecatch.com, of course. You can email me at trollandtommy at hotmail.com or you can get all of us at 715-292-4342 or message us on Facebook. Awesome. Hey, we're going to be a great big thanks to all the hardworking people in this country. And remember, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Oh, oh, oh gee. Let her go. Trust me. Oh, yeah. oh. I'm gonna shoot ya. I'm gonna shoot ya. <laughs> <laughs>